Hello, I am Dr. Hafiz and welcome to another module of data analysis series is data. Today we will discuss about the creating new variables in Stata. Uh, especially we will focus on generate command and the main idea is about to learn the data management and data cleaning. Uh, for example, if you get a data set but you want some other variable, so you, you can create by yourself. Uh, suppose uh, we have a data set, uh, we can see uh, if uh, I will summarize, uh, then I can see that I have a carbon emission, then gross capital formation and GDP growth rate. Now I also need a GDP growth rate square, a new variable to do this. Uh, you have to uh, go data and then you have to go data create or generate and then create new variable. Then new variable window pop up, pops up and here you can write uh, I want GDP square and here you can write the expression uh, what, what kind of expression you want to even though you can here uh, use a multiple options a multiple functions and then you can formulate it and on other way is you just write GDP P G R O growth and multiply by G D P G growth and after that you can just uh, okay and now you can see uh, in generate GDP square GDP growth rate multiply by GDP a new variable is added in our variable list you can uh, use the browse command and now you can see before we have all, all these three variables but GDP square is a new variable which we have generated. The second way is uh, you can also uh, you can also create the same variable by using the command. Uh, for this you can just use generate gen or generate and then you can write GDP square is equal to GDP growth and then uh, you can take the square and enter and a similarly another variable the GDP square is created on, on second way and now you can smell either your variable is created or not created for this you can just write a summarize command and check uh, uh, GDP and GDP square and now you can see uh, the uh, mean value is square of the mean value and standard deviation is square and each of the square. So it confirmed the first check is that your square variable has been generated. So in this way you can generate other variable and you have to give a unique name to new variable. And thank you so much.